Hey guys, welcome to the garden this afternoon. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to do a kind of a rebox or repot. Somebody got me that that wants to remain anonymous. It's Phalaenopsis deliciosa variety hookeriana. It's got little yellow flower, yellow flowers on it with a pink lip. Real pretty. It's it's a real pretty Phalaenopsis. It's a miniature. Um, so yeah, I'm not the greatest at Phalaenopsis. You know, I just I'm really not into Phalaenopsis at all. But you know, I figured I'll do what uh, I'll, I'll I'll do what it does best for me. Phalaenopsis species or whatever they they do better. If I put them in a wood basket, usually for me, they do best. So, and that's a miniature type. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Just put it in there. Yes, I'm having a, a nice glass of wine. Yes, I'm having a nice glass of wine. Homemade wine, too. So, it's really good. Um, but, yeah, we're going to do that and... Also, we're going to look at some blooms. Let's go do that now. Now. And uh, see what else. We'll see what kind of trouble we can get. We'll have kind of like an orchid soup kind of day. And see what goes in the pot here. Okay, so to me, these are stunning. That's Vanda Loki, which is a cross between Luzonica Banda Luzonica and Mandiga, Banda Lamellata variety Boxalii. And these guys are really. That's Ionopsis atriculoroides, native Florida, Florida species. And it's really windy out. But yeah, these are, these are just stunning. Not fragrant. Not fragrant, so. Well, sorry to bust your bubble there, but not fragrant. These ones are opening up that are new. And the fragrance is absolutely crazy. Combined with that over there. These are fragrant during a day. Yeah, these are daytime fragrant and nighttime fragrant. Um, those are nighttime fragrant. So, yeah, anyway. Dendrobium nindies are done. Waiting on these guys. That's Dendrobium uh, platycolon. And, yeah. Not much else going on up on the porch, other than new growth. So yeah, anyway, I've got too many plants and I'm not gonna, I, I can't take care of them all and I'm gonna be downsizing, so the next videos are gonna be me taking care of that. So if you wanna see what, who's getting what, you know, I mean, um. I've got some stuff pulled out for um, Yoshi and Michael and uh, Justin, and I'm I'm giving away a lot of orchids. I just I can't do it no more. It's just too much for me. And uh, so yeah, sometimes you have to uh, do that. It's just uh, give away some plants and see if they do good with them. And you know that's what you do. You know. Um, I just don't have the time to mess around with all this stuff and I don't feel good a lot of times so you know I want my plants to go to somebody that's going to take initiative into taking care of them or whatever so um, anyway yeah I just uh, I've been feeling really poor I feel good enough today I'm getting out and separating stuff getting things out what I want to push on to others and you'll see that in tomorrow's video so 
But anyway, let's get on to this. And um, yeah, this is a uh, Pelionopsis Deliciosa variety hookeriana. We're gonna put it in that box. How does that sound? Because Pelionopsis seem to do better in boxes like that for me. So, and if it croaks, it croaks, whatever. Anyway, we'll be back and that'll be potted up. I'm going to use seashell and orchiata bark. If that's okay with you guys, it seems to work. So, we'll see you in a sec. Okay, so we got a pretty good root system, um, which is amazing. Um, I think I got to it just in time because it was just bound. I mean, real. Uh, they bind those guys up really tight with sphagnum moss and you can't throw out look at look at that that's as far as it could throw out roots you know an orchid's not used to that i mean it was it was tight as tight as my fist around that root ball i'm like why do you do that it's like it doesn't give the orchid any chance to do anything so anyway the moss is on the ground, and I'm not going to reuse it, so, yeah. But anyway, I've got some media down here. Some seashell stuff. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let me pause and get this done, and uh, we'll show you what we come out with. Yeah, we're not going to worry about the spike or anything like that. You can see all the seashell down in there. That's going to add a lot of aeration and stuff like that. And trust me, I've, I've got a couple um, Thalianopsis in this media. There's a spike, the old spike anyway. I'll move that out of the way. So, but, uh, oh. okay, there we go. All right, good enough. Good enough. All right. So, what we're going to do is just take and backfill some seashells. And orgiata bark, at wet orgiata bark. Put that over here. That that's a spike. So hold on, guys. Gotta grab me some more. Yeah, see. Pull out all that stuff. Hey, guess what? It's potted. Or basketed or whatever. So, yeah, check that out. There we go. Now all we gotta do is throw that in there. And we're done. That's it, guys. That's it. You know, that's how you basket a, 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 a phalaenopsis with uh, orchiata, whatever media you want to use. It doesn't have to have the shell in it. It could be whatever you want, you know, but uh, yeah, that's how I do it. Yeah, you can throw those shells in there. Not going to hurt it. And uh, yeah, just put it in a, a bright shady spot and... It should root, uh, root right on out. Um, anyway, it's starting to rain, so we're going to call it uh, good on this clip. Um, I'm going to go have some wine. Wine! And we're going to come back and have a damn good old time with orchids. And we'll see you then. 
Okay, so I thought I would uh, let you guys see one of my or oldest orchids. Yeah, you can see what it's doing. Um, it's been in that box for a long, 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 long time. Before I started my YouTube channel, like uh, 2000, either 15 or 16. So it's been in there for quite a while. And that box is definitely degrading. Look at that. So that's when you know, and I don't have a lot of blooms. Usually this throws out a ton of blooms. So yeah, it's kind of gone bad. So we're gonna look into that on this video. And then the next video, what we're gonna do is probably bust this apart. Um, oh, by the way, this is BC Mike High. Um, and a friend of mine told me it's not 100% BC Mike High, which is uh, Warianthi Beringiana crossed with um, Brasavola nodosa. So, but uh, somebody told me that's not, this is not 100% that. It's also crossed with uh, Cattleya. Um, Maxima and I don't know by looking at the lip here. We'll take a Look at that lip you think it's Maxima. I don't know. I, I, I really Look at the pedal It could be It very well could be now I've had this since like 96 1996 1997 and this is an outdoor grown Catlia. Um, it doesn't see much indoor um, action unless it's stupid cold. I mean, we're going to get a heavy frost. And I've had this up uh, in Citrus County. Um, my Florida viewers will know where Citrus County is. We do get hard frosts up there and up in Hernando County. Um, Anything above Tampa, you know, you can count on maybe getting a hard freeze sometimes. Uh, yeah, Lutes, um, even Zephyr Hills, Florida, um, Newport Ritchie up in that area. So anyway, we've got a couple more blooms up here. Really pretty plant um, once it gets big. But um, yeah, this is starting to degrade. So... And like I said, you can see this is an outdoor grown plant. You can see some sunburn right there, right there. Yeah, it's all outdoor grown. Even some insect damage. There's some uh, sun damage. But uh, yeah, I've had this since 1996, 1997. It's a faithful bloomer, and I'm not ever going to get rid of it. I will never get rid of this orchid. I swear. I mean, I'll give cuts of it away like I have done. And boy, has there been a lot of cuts of this given away. And we've even put it in trees up here in Tampa and right across the street. And it grew like no tomorrow. It just ate that tree. It was like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So, <laughs> yeah, it was really funny because next... The next very next season we put it in the tree it had like thousands of these blooms everywhere on it like 10 12 spikes on it all at once and uh, we were just amazed so yeah this is one orchid I will never get rid of completely um, it's a it's a very vigorous grower too so but I am gonna have a Probably these cuts here are on this side are gonna go. I'm gonna keep all this and then these guys can go. If anybody wants any, let me know now, you know, on this video. Or we'll work something out. We'll figure something out. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a hard one to find. Not really, but um, a well grown plant like that. And that's well grown. I really don't mess with my plants too much. Once they get going like this, 
It's best to set them and forget them due to Ron Bobile. And uh, everybody wants to mess around with them. And I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know. So anyway, onward to the next clip. So anyway, a lot of you guys know Big Mama, my giant cat Leah. Well, I've been breaking it down. You know, I've got this much to go. We'll see what we can get out of that. And over here. Um, yeah, it looks like crap, huh? Yeah, it looks really like crap. Um, but it's going to be better. I've got one pot inside the poly tunnel growing of it. And I've got another one over here. Um, that I just pulled off of this. I pulled off a big chunk of uh, Big Mama off of that. And it needed to come off. It needs redone. Um, yeah, that's another one I've had for a long time. Uh, 12 years. I think 12, yeah, maybe 12, about 12 years I've had that one for. So, um, yeah, orchids kind of some of them hang out with me for a while, you know, um, I really like that, um, you know, I get some orchids are kind of like, um, this guy here is one of my best buddies, I can always expect to bloom around my, uh, was it around my birthday, yeah, around, no, nah, I think, oh, I have one that's, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have it no more, um, it was a dendrobium. It always ble blessed me with uh, blooms around my birthday, so but I got rid of that. So never mind. Anyway, these are in summer. This is like July bloomers, and uh, they are fragrant. They kind of smell like uh, licorice, um, or mine did. These guys did. I don't know how they would smell now. Um, if they bloom, probably not much. Um, when they first started blooming for me, they this guy did not um, have a scent. So, but uh, yeah, it didn't have a scent at all. But the flowers were absolutely stunning. And uh, you guys seen pictures of this? Um, I'll try and see if I can get some pictures offline that I posted. And uh, yeah, it looks like crap, huh? All right, let me move this and show you the new the new big mama Okay, so that's the new big mama I'm debating on mounting that if I could find a big enough piece of wood It might just get mounted. I might have to order a big enough piece of wood to mount that and I think it'd be kind of worth it um I love this orchid though. I mean, it's such a hardy grower. It's such a hardy grower. And uh, yeah, I've got a uh, mail off uh, Yoshi. I'm gonna pull you a cut off of this before I uh, mount that up or whatever. And I will definitely, Yoshi gets a cut of that. Because uh, his wife or his helper, Yoshi's helper, um, wanted to cut of that. It is really pretty, though. Um, it is a really pretty orchid. and It's like a primary hybrid. See what I'm saying about growing outdoors? Look at that leaf. It looks like crap. You know? And you've got bugs all over it. That's eaten off. I mean, but... That's the way it works down here in Florida. You know, I mean, we grow outdoors. <laughs> a lot of us grow outdoors and, you know, I ain't bringing that in if it's like 30, 30 degrees or 37 degrees, 36 degrees. It's not freezing, so you can stay out a little longer, a little bit longer. I might throw a blanket over you, you know, at that temperature. Sometimes I usually do, but we've got a poly tunnel, so I don't know. I think I need less orchids and uh, other things, so 
But anyway, that is Big Mama, the remnants. So I pulled that off of there, off of that cage. And we're going to restart that. Let me pause. That's a, well, not really a new orchid. I've had that for two years, but it's on that mount. That's a really cool, uh, that's a uh, Schomburgia bryciana. While I'm here, check it out. Pretty cool stuff. That's a new uh, growth. So, do you really want an antelope dendrobium? Look at mine. That's a dendrobium discolor. And look at this big cane. That's how big they get. They get big. These uh, antelopes, some of the antelope types, they do get big. So just to let you know. And they like to be pot bound or root bound or they like, they don't like the roots disturbed. So just to let you know. All right, this is one orchid that's going to go. Yeah, this is going to go right here. Um, Justin, you might be getting that. Look at all the friggin' cakeys. So, this is a killer orchid. Look at all the new growth. Wow. And there's a sheath. That is, um, Rangolalia glauca. Look at all those new growths. Rocking it. We are rocking it. Look at that. Sheath. New growths all the way around, baby. Do it to it. Yes, that's a badass plant right there. And right next to it is uh, Brasavola cordata. We got blooms coming, bloom, bloom spikes, all kinds of crap. So yeah, that's going to be awesome. All right, guys. Um, I don't know what else to show you. I know what to show you. One of my fragrant favorites. This guy. That is a beaut. Um, that is Vanda and Cygnus crossed with, oh, geez, what is it? Lamellata. Very beautiful, very fragrant. The whole polytunnel smells like this guy during the daytime. Very beautiful. Get you up close, nice, and look at that. All right. All right, guys, we've reached about the almost the end of the video. And uh, figured we'd take a little look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And we'll just look around a little bit. Oh, so I got another bloom spike here coming too. Um, that's Vanda Arjuna. Very fragrant. Also our big plant too. Look how big that is. All those cakeys. It's like three, four, or five cakeys down there. And that big main plant. So, uh, unusual color on this Vanda too. It's like a steel, it's like green but with steel. I don't know how to describe it. I'll show you the blooms. All right, so thanks for joining me. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with me in the garden. And, uh, you know, come back soon again. If you feel like subscribing, go ahead and subscribe. Or if you like the video, hit the like button. Look at that, that's Ionopsis atriculoroides. 
a Florida native. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining me tonight, today, and uh, we'll see you soon. Have a great night.